Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So we are going to jump right into a battle today. We finished uh, repairing all our mechs for our two main lances. Uh, the pirate lance is still waiting for their first two mechs to come into play here. But we're um, pretty good, We're our financial report just went through. We're um, spending right now 568,000 um, sea bills a month. So we're going to jump right in. We need to make some more money here because we're going to need a lot of sea bills for our Argo to get the last couple of components fixed and ready to go. So let's have a look at the com contracts right today. I don't want to risk taking too much damage on my mechs. I think I'm going to pull off a Brilliant Minds contract for the Marion Hegemony. We need still need to get a little bit of reputation with them and that's going to give us a bit more to, uh, to help us out with them. Commander, we perform a substantial amount of scientific research here in Islington. Pirate forces have been sabotaging our research stations, stretching our defenses thin. We just learned that their ultimate target is a key scientist in our weapons development program. They launched an assault that we believe is intended to capture her. We need you to re reach the facility where she's stationed and extract her to safety. We can certainly do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to just a recovery mission. So we're going to go in there with our main lance. It's only a three and a half skull. We're going to go full savage on this. And we're going to take our main lance in, which is already set up and ready to go. Um, I was pretty happy with the uh, griffin in the last battle. So um, we're going to leave it outfitted the way it is. Let's deploy and uh, see what we can do down there. Alright, here we go. So we gotta get to the island there, pick up the scientists and get out of here. Looked like there was a mech right on there. Head to the evac zone. We're not really heading to the evac zone. So chances are at three and a half skulls we're gonna have a lance to fight and then another set of reinforcements showing up. So let's get right in on this. Where can we get down here? We can come down this ramp here. So let's do that. Uh, we'll target, try and get up here, set up a fire line, smash anything that's down here, pick up the main guy and get out of here. Uh, if there's reinforcements, probably be coming from this direction. So I have to keep our eye out for that. So let's just reserve so we can all move at the same time. Actually, let's reserve right back to turn one. And we're gonna sprint. So let's start with uh, Vein Skater. So this griffin doesn't have really, really fast speed. Doesn't really need it. Okay, so they're moving now. Skipper. Hi, Skipper. It's about the same speed as the wolverine. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. Okay, we're gonna get flatliner up. Waiting for orders. See if we can see what that guy is. Okay, 75er, 65, and a 75. Okay, good. We're still looking for some certain certain mech parts. We'll take Marauder parts if it's Marauders. Uh, Orion parts, definitely. We've got a bunch of those already. Uh, quick draw parts, catapult parts. Um, we're pretty close with most of those. If it is an Orion, I want it to be the Command Orion because we could really use that. So they're all just the regular heavy mechs. Let them go first, see what they're doing. He's smashing up all the buildings up there. It might only be three. Three and a half skull though, we'll see. Okay, they're moving back. So let's get Flatliner up first and see what we can see up here. Actually, you know what? Let's get height up. How far can you get to the trees here? Can't get any line of sight on anybody. It's okay. But he's in position to do that next turn. So they got reserves, I think. Got the sneaky Bye. suspicion they've got a whole second lance of mechs. Double time. Let's go. It might be three and three. Usually when there's three primary mechs, there's like three secondary as well. Uh, let's get Flatliner up in here. Get in the trees. Going full throttle. Gotta put these boys in the trees. Commander. And Warhammer coming up behind. So I'm, I'm happy with the Warhammer speed. It could have been a lot slower, but overall he's not that bad. So height, Confirm. you are going to move down to see what we're up against here. So let's go straight down as far as we can get. See what we're up against. Let's go. So we got, what is that over there? Black Knight. Okay, we got a bunch of Black Knight parts as well. And a Thunderbolt. So we're going to fire straight out in the Thunderbolt. Looks like it's a stock model. Uh, we'll fire with everything. We're going to be in the water in a second, so I'm not worried about heat. 
ATM's not doing very much damage, but that's okay. Well, let these guys know we came to play. So let's get Flatliner down here. Okay, not a lot of evasion, but he's about to punish this guy really hard. Okay, so he's completely unsteady now. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to move Vane Skater down. With him, actually we'll be able to see that guy over there too. There's the fourth mech over there, so it might only be one Lance then. So Vane Skater's coming down, and now what we do with this guy, because we want to finish him off, is do an offensive push. And we're going to go for this torso here. And we'll push him back a turn, and then hopefully our Warhammer will be able to move in and fire as well. Okay, so he's going down. There goes his torso, taking one pilot injury. Second one as he falls. Excellent. So there's a Marauder. That's the 3M. Is that the one with the uh, Goss and the two PPCs? No. Is that two hits with 45 damage? It was in the same location. So what has he got? How does that work out? If he's got a regular AC5, oh, I guess the large must have hit in the same spot. That would make sense. Two larges, two mediums. Okay. Good to go. I don't feel so bad now. Uh, I thought I miscalculated that. So let's, I guess we cannot get into a position where we can shoot that guy, but what we can do we're going to multi-target. We're going to use everything on him and the missiles on B. Maybe we get a head hit this fire. Aye, aye. So he's taking some large damage. Lots of stability already on him. Here comes the missiles. Yeah, he's bailed out. Excellent. So I got lucky with that one. I didn't think he was going to bail, but he did. Black Knight moving up. Okay. Moved out of the water. Would have been better staying in there, but that's fine. And a 95 tonner. Banshee maybe? I don't know. what a Banshee or a Cyclops? Is the Cyclops 95? I think Banshee's 95. What are your orders, sir? I don't know my mechs that well. So let's sprint up. Uh, we're going to move straight in, get as much evasion as we can, and stay nice and cool here, and we're going to unload on this Marauder. He's the next guy that has to go down, so we're going to fire everything. Um, we're taking some uh, hit uh, reduction here, I guess because he's got four chevrons of evasion. So, Okay, so he's unsteady now. So let's get Vane Skater down here. And let's apply everything on this guy. We're going to fire the uh, Goss Rifle and everything. Lots of ammo. Okay, there goes his torso. So, pilot wound. And let's get Flatliner down here. Get some good evasion going on him. And we're going to unload on this guy with everything. Now we have lots of salvage here, um, but also too, they've got good firepower and lots yeah. of armor. I don't want to waste time on these guys, because if we get reinforcements coming in against us, we, we could be in a lot of trouble. So I want to take as much damage on these guys as I possibly can Order. before we have to deal with anybody else. So let's sprint. Can we see him from over here? We can. We're going to move over here. That 95 tonner is still out of the game, and we're going to keep it that way until we can all face him at one time. So let's go up to the Black Knight now, firing everything. Actually, you know what? We've got good chances to hit. I'm going to make an attempt at taking his head off. Let's do that. In all See if we get a head hit on him. Okay, we do get a head hit. That's good. I don't think we have enough resolve left to go for another one, but that's fine. We're going to apply lots of damage to this guy in a second here. So 
I'm gonna move flatliner first. I don't know if it's better to go direct or indirect for the headshot to get a better chance for a headshot. Well, we're gonna move him over here anyway. Get rid of that stability problem, and we're gonna fire straight on this guy. Hopefully, knock him down. Although, if we get that torso, we might kill him. I'm not sure if he's got an XL engine. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Is he gonna fall? Nope. All right, so we need to breathe on him. So let's get Vein Skater around. Actually, you know what? Let's get height. Let's breathe on him with height here a little bit. Let's go after him with the uh, ATM-9 and the tag. That should be enough to knock him down. Okay. Oh yeah. So if he had two health left, if he had been knocked down, we would have attempted to uh, use Vein Skater to try and hit him in the head, and then we would have used uh, Ground Zero to attempt to tr hit him in the head as well. Roger that. Standing by. So that guy's not moving. Oh, he's an assault, so we have to wait. So he's moving around back. Okay. So, so are we. We're just going to move. Actually, we better sprint. We need some move movement going here. So I'm thinking, because this is a three and a half skull mission, and there's this heavy lance here, I'm thinking this is probably the only defense. I don't think there's going to be reinforcements. So we're down to one mech. I'm going to reserve everybody right back to turn one. I don't want to move around the corner and attack this guy until we're all ready to do so. So let's get ground zero moving up. Roger, full speed. I think we're pretty close to being able to see him with everybody. Oh, we got another turn, I think. Turn or so before we can all see him. On my way. Let's move him up here. Let's move hey. Skater. On my way. to there. Let's get our spotting mech height up a little further than that, like maybe right into here. All right, let's move. Okay. Now once again, we're going to reserve all the way back to turn one, let him go first, and then we're going to be able to move twice on him. Uh, be right here if you need me. So he's hugging that wall. Good play. So yep. we're going to do this. We're just going to go get him. So let's move straight out here. We're going to have two turns against him because he's already gone this turn and this is our turn. So we've got a Banshee. AC-20 and a small laser with lots and lots of armor. So we don't really have that many offensive pushes left. we got one, looks like. So we're going to fire everything on this guy. Just let it go. Maybe we get lucky and get a head hit in. Yep, excellent. Okay, Vein Skater. Let's sprint you. Actually, let's get Flatliner first. I want to get the missiles on this guy to try and get for another head hit here. Where's the best place to go? Probably right here. Dead fire ammo is better closer in, so get a little closer to him. Better chances to hit. So 30 chances with the missiles to hit his head. We might get another hit there. Nope. Okay, Vein Skater, sprint forward. And we're going to use everything. Just fire. Maybe try and get close to destabilizing him? Probably not. Yeah, it's close. Not bad. We should get him over with ground zero for sure. So I'm going to sprint to where I can really see him well. And we're going to target his head. I'm going to take the chance. We've got pretty good chances to hit, so let's go after a headshot here. We'll be getting some more resolve in a second here. Come on, missile hit to the head. Well, at least he's... Oh, there we go. Head hit. Pilot injured. He's unsteady. So let's knock him over. So height. Confirm. Let's walk it over here. We're going to put his ass on the ground. Going to fire at him. Going to use everything. And hopefully we knock his ass down. There he goes. He's on the ground now. Another head hit and he's out. That's it. He's done. That was a very, very clean severing of this guy. That was really well done. Okay, we're going to sprint up here and grab our scientist, and we are out of here. I'm just going to reserve by, right back to turn one. And we are out of town. Excellent. Well, we only got 8,000 payout, but that's okay because we're going to get lots of salvage. Good X XP on this mission. 
And look at all these Banshee parts, man. So we got a chance to get some Banshee parts, Black Knight parts, which is another mech we should probably try and get. I think we've got different pieces of different variations of this. Uh, only one Marauder part, unfortunately. Lots of Thunderbolt parts to get, possibility. So let's just grab some stuff here. Um, this medium laser. Accuracy and evasion ignore, plus 50% crit. Let's just throw it in there for now. What else do we got? Good, some, some, oh, look at this fusion core, 380. Let's grab that. Let's grab the 300. Uh, we do need cash as well. Is there anything else good down here? We got lots of endo steel, so let's just grab the other engine. Let's just do it this way. And we want this defense gyro? I don't think so. I think we're probably, well, you know what? We could take that for our pirate lance. No, because we want the XL we want the XL gyros eventually, so we're not going to bother with this. Take these guys. Just confirm this. All right, so one, two, three Banshee pieces. One, two, three, four, five Black Knight pieces, which means if we have other pieces of Black Knight, we may have a Black Knight. Two Thunderbolt pieces, a couple large lasers, medium laser, yeah, you see 20 ammo. So we made out really well, 21 million in salvage for a quick mission like that. That was excellent. All right, so our cost, 11,000 in repairs, so that's... Three, just like three grand over what uh, we made off this, so it's really nothing. So we did excellent on that mission, and I think we probably have enough time to pull off a second one, so let's go ahead and do that with our other lance. Let's go to contracts, see what we've got going on down here. We're looking for something for cash. Let's go with uh, contested will, maybe? Let's see here. Capture base? We can do that. Let's, ca let's go capture base for these guys. Although weapon shipment. Now we want to, we got some cash out of this, so. A, a hegemony, hegemonian family lost a large area of land in Islington thanks to dubious legal maneuvering by pirate agents. This land includes an important ancestral military base. We need this base taken back from the pirates and held until it can be sorted out. Cool. Let's go do this one. So I think we're going to sit in the center here. We want to get some cash out of this, so we're not really that concerned about salvage at this low level. It's a two skull mission after all. And we're going to go with this lance right here and deploy and let's get this done. Alright, here we go. Four mechs down. Take and hold the base and keep it. No problem. Rock on, everybody. Rock on, everybody. Alright, so we're just going to move straight in. There's no point in reserving. Let's hope that we don't have immediate uh, contacts. Probably going to be turrets for sure. But turrets I can handle. Three of our mechs are long range fighters, so should be just fine. Yeah, man, move up. Okay. We gotta move into this point. So there's the base there. They dropped us pretty far away here. I'm interested to see how this Hunchback's going to perform here. PPC, got that LRM-20 in there now. So, got a little bit more punch with the dead fire ammo. I mean, it's not as it's not as heavy a punch as uh, Flatliner and the 5N Trebuchet. Simply because the, the Trebuchet, the uh, launchers on that have got uh, plus one damage. So, with his ability to uh, use um, Warlord, it's, they're doing 8 damage per missile, whereas uh, payroll is only going to be doing 6. But, you know, that's just fine. Especially if at the level we're working at here, 6 damage per missile is just fine. Standing by. Okay, let's get in here. Should be able to see what's up next turn. Yeah. It's nice that we have lots of long-range weapons here. Although we are in the desert, so we have to watch our heat. Ready for order. Okay, get close. Let's move Jasper first. See what we can see up here. Looks like a modern operation or operational military base to me. I don't see any turrets though. Okay. Yep. Looks like we're gonna have an easy time with this one. There should be one lance coming up after we activate the base. Shocked that there's no turrets. At two skulls, I mean, 
We might get one medium lance coming in afterwards, but we'll see what happens. Which I guess means easy money, relatively, but... Okay, Jasper, let's get you down there. Uh, what's the best way? Let's go this way. The other thing to do, too, is we could just send Jasper down. We could just sit up on this hill and blast guys from above. Depending on where they show up, right? We need to be able to see them, although... Payroll with the dead fire animal kind of needs to be in close. Um, what do we got on her? ER medium. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna roost her up here. On the move. Full speed. Stay up there. Yes, animal can move down. Let's get some pinpoint damage down close. Going full throttle. I think I'll keep him in the trees down here, and then we'll bring payroll yeah. along with Jasper. Let's get down as far as we can go here. Alright. Alright, Jasper first. Plan is to sprint your ass down here, buddy. I think they're going to be coming from over here. So let's get Animal down in the tree line here so we can see across the water. And then payroll, yep. sprint down to the bottom. Roger. And then voodoo. Order? Just gonna rotate so we can see most over there. And brace. I'm picking up a new sensor Here they come. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Another blackjack. Well, it's a blackjack G though, so. Two ultra tens. Great. Alright, animal. He's all yours. So... Where's our Gauss rifle again? It's on the right side, isn't it? No, it's on the left side, is it? Really? Yeah, it's on the left side. So let's just face this guy straight on. Bandits. Bandits. A relatively easy hit. We're gonna fire everything. You know, I really shouldn't have said that. I'm thinking we may have to move uh, Voodoo down. Shadowhawk 1R. Okay. So his rocket launcher is gone. He's got eight feet. Okay, that guy's got nothing. This guy is already damaged. I have no idea what this guy is. So, let's get payroll. Um, let's get you over here. We need these AC-10s gone, so let's fire straight on this guy. That might take the arm off, please. Nope. He's unstable, though. No, not quite yet. Okay, what's this guy? Large laser on the left arm. Could be an enforcer, maybe? You have orders? Okay, Jasper. Let's move down over here. Moving out. Just fire everything straight on this guy. Oh, he's torsoed. Nice. There goes the torso. Reporting. Critical hit. Okay, Voodoo. Uh, Commander? Let's just... Um, walk it back this way a little bit. If we stay there. What's our chance to hit from here? Actually pretty damn good. Because he's unstable. Let's just fire straight on this guy, see what we can do. I know I probably should have done a uh, uh, offensive push on him, but I'm thinking that's probably going to be good enough. There's the knockdown. So you push him back a turn. Down to one pilot head. One pilot hit left in his head. So Shadowhawk's going to move forward. They don't really have any dangerous weapons left. That AC-5 could do some damage. As well as the large laser, but... Shouldn't be too bad. So let's get Jasper. Where is the ship? Oh, we haven't activated it yet, so we should be okay. I was worried about where the ship was going to land. 
So we're going to move over here. We're going to aim for this blackjack. Going to go for his head and fire everything. Right arm gone. He's got no weapons left. Yeah, he's gone. This is the end. Another blackjack. Great. The mech I hate the most. He's just so goofy looking. It's like the discount, like, it is a discount rifleman, I swear to God. Copy that. And at 45 tons, it's like really, you just, you can't energy bolt this thing. Alright, two larges, two mediums, let's take this guy out, he's in the water, so he's going to have good heat sinking. That was a CT hit, it looked like. He's unsteady. Let's get the animal to finish him up. Moving into the water. Gonna fire with everything. On it. Oh, come on. Okay, he's going down. Supporting critical hit. Goodbye. And I say that because... Commander? Goodbye. On it. Don't even need to move her. Done. Nice. It is one less target. Okay, let's see what this guy's doing. Yep. Making a run for it. That's it, run. I like it when you run. Let's hunt this guy down. If I thought this guy would be running away and leaving the map board, I'd just let him go. But I know he's coming back, so... Fortunately, we gotta shoot at him. Alright, Voodoo. What can you hit him with? Oh, you can hit him with everything. Let's just fire on him. Come some missiles. I love how they, they position the camera in this. It really is well. Really, really well done. Okay, animal. Can we actually see him at all? I thought you could see him there for a second. Oh, if you go up here. Sure, why not? Not much chance to hit, but we'll fire everything. Wow, now you hit with the Gauss rifle. Yeah. Let's sprint up. Can we actually get to a point where we can see him? No, we got to indirect fire him, I guess. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, so there's where the ship's landing right there. We'll just stay back here. Alright, let's take him out. Let's hope we take him out. The torso gone. Nope. Nice. Got past the armor. Let's see what he does. It was up to me. I come back. Oh yeah, exactly. Come back and punch this guy. Yep. That's really all you can do. All right, Jasper. Let's burrow through his side. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I understand. Goodbye. Comes our dropship. Good thing we were aware of where the dropship was coming. Alright, let's finish this sucker up. Okay, payroll. Yep. Two turns and we're done. Well, this turn and the next turn and we're done. All right, let's finish this up, girl. Got it. No shooting. The Just base running. is ours. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, so that wasn't so bad. Four hundred twenty-eight thousand. We didn't. We didn't need the cash, so well, you know that was a good mission. Almost a thousand XP each, which is good. No real ma major component damage. And there's a chance for blackjack parts, but uh, really, we got three to bait already. I bet you we get five parts. Watch. Actually, I don't think we can, but actually, we could. Yeah, we get six, but uh, let's see. XL Gyro definitely need that. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, what else do we have here? Anything good? Double heat sinks. Nice. We can take that. And there's still we got tons of. Maybe we just take the double heat sink. 
Eh, Fusion Core 170, we don't really need it. Yeah, let's go this route. See what we get here. Oh, crappy crap. A couple of RLs. We got the Fusion Core, cool, nice. Alright. Alright, what's this? Black Market Fence Selling SRM. SRM 4 Double Plus. Message arrives from Darius, who's gone to plant side for a supply run. Commander, I bought the blank spare along me to, and he's managed to strike a, up a relationship with a dealer in the local black market. Individuals often sell this uh, slightly used SRM double plus, plus four damage, and eh, it's pretty good. No thanks, we don't need that. And we, 4,000 in repairs, which is nothing. Excellent, so there's the advantage of having two key lances, right, in the main group. Now, five days later, all our guys will be repaired and we'll be ready for fighting again. So, um, that's it for these two quick missions. We're going to go five days here really quick. Six days, I guess. Um, and when we come back next time, um, we are definitely going to be playing a couple more missions. Looks like we've got enough cash here. Let's go to engineering real quick and see what we need for... I think we don't quite have enough for this. Yeah, we're short just a little bit. But uh, we're going to pick up some uh, more missions for money. Uh, we're getting really, really close to finishing off the Argo here. Um, Habitat Pod is 2.25. Mill, and um, yeah. So once we get those done, we'll be able to uh, test out our KF drive. Um, so we're going to move, move to an abandoned system to try that. We don't want to be in any territory where we could uh, run into some pirates or something like that. And with a, if, the, if the ship gets crippled for whatever reason, we don't want to uh, be... Uh, um, target for pirates and stuff so yeah so that's it for this mission today if you like the video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you all next time